What's up fellow engineers and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be showcasing off my replicator spider ships. Before we get started if you want to go ahead and like, comment and subscribe and try and reach 1000 subscribers. And if you would like my content go, you can follow me on Twitch where you can watch me build these live. With all that said, let's get into the showcase. So I have built two replicator spider ships from Stargate SG-1 Season 8. Now these replicator spider ships are pretty decent. I've built two versions. I've built kind of like a one-to-one -one scale version and a small, smaller version that can basically fight my small grid deadless. So I'm going to basically give you a little tour of each of them, show you what they could do, and then that'll be it. So we're going to show you the little one first. The little one that has six legs. Each leg has landing gear on. It's got two rail guns, two auto cannons and two artillery cannons on the front as well as four auto cannons and one assault cannon on top. This thing is pretty cool. Obviously the cockpit is in here, it's very tiny. As you can see, now the spiders themselves do not walk but they do fly. So to obviously fly them, we have in our tool but menu we have obviously our engines so we turn our engines on we press right on the d-pad to release all the landing gears hold a we fly up and then down it's the tire blocks to close up the legs and basically this is how it flies in stargate sg1 and i think it's pretty cool obviously this is the first range of replicator ships i'm gonna be doing obviously my next replicator ship is gonna be the mothership so that's like the cylindrical version this is the spider ship. Now we don't actually see a lot of these in the show. We only see them like three, maybe four times within the show. And most of the time it's like a flyby or where it like lifts off or lands. So it is not bad at all. Yeah. I hope you do like these. These have been actually quite fun to make, especially trying to do these legs. And also this one is completely heavy armor. So it can, might, might be able to take a little bit of a beating. No, yeah, but I think I like it. It's pretty cool. So obviously this is a small grid one. Like I said, it's heavy armor all over. It's got a shit ton of hydrogen, but obviously as you can tell by as we're flying, it does use quite a bit of fuel so you know keep that in mind while flying it around this is more of a a short range attack vessel and we can check the pcu out the pcu is only 11,000 pcu so pretty well compact like i said you know it's got as you can see it's got a load of engines most of them are internal and obviously we've got some on the bottom but i try to keep it like replicate blocky so that's the small one, now on to the large one. Now the large one was quite f even more fun to make, especially doing these legs. That's obviously a six legs. Basically the design is the same. 
but this one we have more guns on so we got um i think we got three assault cannons so one in the middle two on the front side there and then we have the rest auto cannons on top and obviously you could add more weapons and whatnot but generally i try to keep them respectable obviously we've got like this blocky pattern as well to keep it like replicate blocks and obviously on the front we just have some we have two rail guns now you could add more weapons if you wanted to but yeah i'm trying to keep it simple yeah and obviously as we come inside as you've seen in the show most replicators like inside is actually one rectangular room made up of replicator blocks so i kind of did that in this one not to mention most of the internal spaces on this ship are engines and whatnot so we come into the cockpit and basically it's the same setup as the little one you turn engines on right on d-pad to lift up and then down d-pad and the legs close voila and that's how it flies now obviously some people may say well it's more like a crab because it has six legs well and less than a spider but replicate spider ships in stargate sg1 have six legs so yeah i'm trying to keep it screen accurate here yeah, it's a little it's pretty decent on speed obviously our maneuvering is a little kind of slow but it's got over 100 gyros in so you know any more than that but obviously if you use uh like gyro 10 times mod and engines 10 times it'd be a bit easier to maneuver i think But these are literally, like I said, you're trying to make screen accurate ships. And like I said, it's not a lot of screen time for these these ships. So I tried to do my best. So I hope you do enjoy these spider ships. And if you obviously like my replicator line, obviously the next one is going to be the mothership. That I'll take you over in a second. Which is land estate. So obviously legs deploy, landed. See, sometimes it'll be landed a little crooked depending on how the legs deploy but yeah those are the replica spider ships but i'm just going to take you over to my build area yeah, so if you do like my content and you want to see me build ships like i said you can follow me on twitch this is where obviously i build ships live obviously see my deadless here so obviously the small spider ship is to basically attack this deadless whereas you can use larger spider ship for like one to one type of scenarios but um, obviously I've got a nice little uh, build build pad here as they say and the replicator mothership is going to be twice as long as the Daedalus so it's going to be probably maybe like this long give or take yeah, if you know the one I'm on about it's the one that um, 5 uses to attack um, Daniel Jackson in the beginning of season 8 and it's also the one that uh, Replicator Carter uses with Daniel Jackson. So that's the one I'm going to be building next. And that's going to be Small Grid to, to fight the Daedalus. Okay. So that's the next Replicator ship in the line that I'm going to be building. So I hope you are going to like it. So yeah. So I hope you've enjoyed this little showcase. I know it's been a quick one, but there's not really much else to show apart from what I've shown you already. So if you'd like the content and you want to see more, feel free to subscribe, like, and comment. It does help me out a lot. And leave your thoughts on my Stargate ships and what you would like to see me build if I haven't already built it. Within the Stargate world, obviously I am going to plan on building every single Stargate ship building and stuff that appears on screen. Of relevance, that is. You know, so yeah, you can always go check out my mod.io to see what I have built if you're new to the channel and new to my builds. With all that said, I've been Dr. McKay. Thank you for watching. Yeah. And until the next one, I'll catch you then. Cheers and goodbye.